So as you can see here, in the broadcast page, you can broadcast a message and also upload the template for approval. So let's see how you can submit a template easily. As I mentioned, we have two types of template message. For the rich template, you can upload multimedia or have a task as a, as a header. And you can upload different format of the multimedia. And for the button option, you can have different call to action. For example, visit website or show them a phone number. So good thing about the website one is it can be a static website or a dynamic one. So you can redirect your user to the specific landing page uh, according to their needs. For example, some payment update or some account specific information. But today, let's do easily the one plain test template for example. Let's give a name to your template. And then choose a category. After that, you can choose the languages that are supported by WhatsApp. And to add the text here, you can add a variable as well to customize it to your client. So you can save it as a draft. And then later on, you can upload it for approval. So in, once you save it as draft, it will actually not send to WhatsApp for approval until you click the button to submit it the template. And as you see here, here are some templates that already get approved, which you can use it unlimited time. And for the pending template, uh, you may wonder how long it will get approved it by WhatsApp. So just now, as you can see, and it's just a plain one-line template. And in English, it, for the WhatsApp um, service agreement, it will get approved within 48 hours. But usually, to my experience, if it's an English template, it will get approved really easily. And if it's a plain text one. Of course, for um, rich template, which involve multimedia, it may take uh, a bit longer time in order to get the approval. And if you would like to send a broadcast message, you can click here. And you can only select the template that already get approved it. So let me try to refresh here to check whether this template have any status change. So as you can see here, after I refresh already, it is already approved it. So good that the template message is already approved it. Let's go to broadcast message to send a new broadcast to your client. So first of all, you need to add a broadcast message name. Usually, I'll use the date today. And select the template message that already got approved it. So you can actually schedule a time and date to send it out. So it's 07 here. I will set it to 08. Next. So you have different ways to select your contact. So first of all, of course, you can select it directly from here and do a segmentation. To select only the VIP member, for example. So you can choose all of them if you would like to only select the VIP members. And you can also upload from Excel in order to uh, send it to a targeted group of customers. So once I select the content, I can add it to broadcast. When I add it to broadcast, you will be able to see that all the broadcast list here, and you can see the status is processing. What you can track here is what template you have been sending out, and also the broadcast statistic of it. So as you can see, it's delivered. I will actually go to the team inbox to show you how the mes message will be shown here. So as I come back to the crystal tab, the conversation here, you will see here is a great box to show the template message that you have been sent out to your client, and it will reflect on the team inbox page as well.